What's going on, my crew? This is Jay. Welcome to a special episode of Jay's Adventures. And today, we are playing the alpha version because it's a 100th episode special. And uh, one of the things I wanted to do for this particular one is just go into the old days. And uh, basically, what I want to do is first make sure that we are... Okay, so it used to be okay. I think we're I think we're all ready to go. Um, the only thing I want to do is I want to put ourselves on peaceful. Uh, basically, all I'm gonna do in this whoa sounds. Uh, basically, all I want to do in this is uh, find diamonds. Um, that's the goal for today. Um, and I'm gonna talk with you guys while I'm doing it about uh, my first experiences. Now, I believe that this is the first ever version that I played of Minecraft. Um, where basically what I was doing is just what you see here. Um, and I want to talk about my experiences of playing this game and what it was like for me at the start. And sort of just be nostalgic with some of you guys that remember these old versions. Um, just as a thing, every meat was the same. It was always a pork chop. Always, always, always a pork chop. Um... Look at that. Look at that tree. You'll never see a tree like that ever again. <laughs> um, here's some things. You, from what I remember, couldn't get meat from chickens or cows. So, oh, there's the old, uh, ooh, sound. Here is the old gravel look. I've always, um, I've always liked this gravel look better, personally. No sprinting. Um, Let's talk a little bit about my first ever encounter playing Minecraft. Now, like most people, oops, inventory is I. Um, like most people, when I started out playing Minecraft, I uh, was not um, very good. Let's let's say that. Uh, I started off. My dad is one of these people where he was all about getting an entire set of wooden tools and then after you do that just going over to a place like this mining out the cobble and would you look at that cobble this cobble is so much better than the old cobble look how much contrast there is in there it's much better in my opinion but anyways um you know the first thing that uh, you would do was get wooden tools and then you'd upgrade to cobblestone tools so it was really uh, pretty pointless um, and like most people back then I think uh, you, you were kinda like okay well the first thing I want to do is everybody talks about diamonds so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab some diamonds and uh, you go you get your diamonds and all that good stuff and then now what? What do I do? Um, and that's where I was at. And I started to just mine in and burrow into these uh, mountains and just build and build and build and build these like atrocious buildings. Because back then I was horrible at building. When I say horrible, I mean horrible. Um, I had no concept of what a good house looked like or anything like that. And, uh, you know, I certainly didn't have any special abilities with it um, all the things that you see me building now are about I was looking and I thought that I started playing in 2011 that's when I started recording I started playing uh, November of 2010 which means that um, you know I was pretty much have been doing this for just about three years now um, and just building things and doing things, it's all a three-year process. So don't feel bad if you are like, oh, my builds suck. I still need to turn this down. It's the way the old music was back in them days. Okay, so um, after you got your first tools, uh, we would always go and try and see if we couldn't find a cave before nightfall. Now, back in these days, uh, nightfall was bad. It was very bad because you didn't have a bed. Uh, and most people didn't have much food, and you didn't need food, which was good. Oh, these have the old look and feel. They look like little devils, don't they? See? 
Nothing. Nothing came from these cows. I think every once in a while you'll get leather from them. Let me see. Yep, a little bit of leather. Um, wool. Completely useless. And I don't remember them doing that. Oh, you know what? I guess they did. I guess you hit them and they give you... Yep, I remember that. Alright, so we've got our first cave. I kept eating... I kept pushing E instead of I. Um, and a lot of times you'd run into these little fake caves. But uh, the caves, in my opinion, were a lot more brilliant um, back in the day. I'm getting little lag spikes. It's funny because I'm, I'm pulling like 90 frames per second right now. But um, still not quite where I want it to be. Okay. Um, I don't know what exactly was the deal with those, but, uh, I know that this game was made specifically for caving, um, and that one looks like it might be a good one. So, I keep wanting to run, too. Um, so, you know, here's a iron vein. Um... There are a ton of caves in the beginning, and they're really uh, pretty cool looking, in my opinion. Um, so we're going to need to find some more coal at some point here. Um, if we can't... Ugh, these stupid caves, man. Can't find a good one. But uh, there's a lot of common misnomers that come from these days of, like, uh, diamonds are always near coal, uh, diamonds are always near lava... Uh, back in the day when sort of getting diamonds was the apex, at least for me. See it? Yeah, look at the F3. Look at that. Um, diamonds was sort of the apex of, of this game. And so it was kind of sad to, to be playing the game and then you're like, okay, I have diamonds. Well, don't know what to do now. <clears throat> look at that. The snowy biome. Snowy biome to me was always a bad omen. Uh, my first game that I played, I was freaked out because I was told that it was, you know, zombie survival game. And uh, so I was sitting there, and I had myself barred in, and uh, I was all ready. All right, we're going we're gonna to just do the old school burrow down, see if we can't find some sort of cave below us. Um, I don't know if this is going to work here. Oh, look at that, more iron. I think I will... No, we don't have any coal, so I can't do that. Look how much iron! I wonder if they reduced this, because I've never, I've never had a vein like this and up this close to the surface. That's crazy. I guess we'll, we'll walk a little bit more and see if we can't find uh, something. Um, so anyways, um, when I first got the game... I was all paranoid. Ooh, look at that cave. Let's let's go over there. Uh, I was all paranoid because I was like, um, I really don't want to get eaten by a zombie. Like that's that would be the worst. And um, so I was all gung ho about barring myself in. And I remember walking out. I hadn't even seen the zombies yet. I remember walking out and seeing these flaming specters. Is what I I called them. And my dad's like, what are you talking about? And uh, I remember I brought this in and all my friends, let's get some coal. Uh, all my friends were like, this is a horrible game. I don't know why you're playing it. All you do is you have a bunch of blocks and you're placing them. And I'd always tell them, well, it's, it's about the building, you know. You need to have fun with the building or you're not going to have fun. And... Uh, they never believed me, and then now I find out they're playing the game like it's some new thing. And I'm like, I was playing that forever ago. Alright, let's grab these. Just a few. I don't need too much. I'm not big on these. Um, but uh I'll tell you a little bit about my first impressions, too. Um, much like my friends, I was all like, well, this is kind of a stupid game, you know. 
Um, I This is the first game I ever played as a, uh, I guess you could call it a beta version. Because um, I really didn't play much of Alpha. Um, I was more a beta player. Um, what's up with the random snow here? That's interesting. Oh, look at that cave. I don't know if I prefer... I prefer that cave because then I have to... Eh, let me see. Oh, yeah. One thing of water and you're hurt. So there's that. <laughs> Let's see if we got an actual cave in here or if it's just a fake one. Nope. Oh, wait. This is back before you had brightness as a option. And so many, so many features in the game that you take for granted, like, you know, this is the way you, you had to play it. You couldn't shift right click or uh, do anything like that. You had to, yeah, it's a dead end. Um, you had to make things the slow way, and that was always terrible. Yeah, it's finally getting dark. Did that feel like the day was super long, or is that just me? Look, it's the Big Dipper. Um, oh, yeah, look. You guys can notice the uh, effects of the different light changes over time. Um, okay, that's just a hole. Oh, ooh, ooh, we, might, we might have a winner. Do we? No. All right. Uh, let's dig down a little bit, because sometimes I'm going to do a stupid... This is how I played the game first off, my first time playing it. I dug straight down to, I think it was 15, something like that. And uh, I remember I didn't fall into the lava, but that was before I knew about lava. Um, and I found diamonds, the first person... In my family, actually, to find diamonds. That was my... I think it was my first day playing. Um, but I was pretty excited for myself with it. Uh, let's make this less excruciating and build another cobblestone pickaxe. Um, yeah. I fell in love with this game, though. And I played it, I think, for... Jeez. Uh... Three months straight, non-stop playing, and then I just I stopped building because it was it was getting boring for me. Um, you know, you play a game quite a bit. I'm gonna stop digging down because I'm not stupid. Um, you play a game for a certain amount of time, and then you just lose interest in it. And uh, you know, that's sort of what happened with me in this game is. I lose interest in it, and then I'd get back addicted, and then you'd lose interest in it, and get back again. And um, what level are we at? Sixteen, almost a diamond level. I hear water. Um, we're getting closer. I think it's this way. Oh, look at that obsidian. There we go. Oh, hi, lava. Redstone. There's a funny story with redstone. So, redstone back in this day, and maybe I'll make a diamond pick and, and show you guys. Even with a diamond pick, this thing was horrible to try and mine out. I mean, excruciatingly painful. And, uh, you just, you sat there mining and mining and mining. And we just got fed up with it. And we're, we're telling Mojang, look, you need to fix your redstone, dude. Um, oh, this brings back memory. These, these torched, like, uh, things here. Let me take a screenshot of that. Oh, the torchlight, man. Uh, 21, so we want to get down further, a lot further to get to diamond level. Oh, speak of the devil. Look at that. Look at that beautiful. Uh, now back in this day, when I was playing this, 
Oh, don't cheat me. Don't you cheat me. Oh, no. Oh, really? Please tell... Oh, no. They are going to cheat me out of one diamond. You got to be kidding me. No way. Well, it's the name of the game, I guess. Anyways, let's get them anyways. Um, back in this time, I kind of ruined my first chance getting a diamond. Um, because <laughs> I was like, okay, well, the game probably works like this. You get iron, then you get gold. Look at this. Check this out. Back in the day, that's how you made these. That was the first and only for a long time uh, half slab. Because watch this. I don't believe... Yep, that's a pressure plate, not a half slab. Check this out. Yep, see that? Um, so, anyways, uh, I... What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. I, I moved from iron to gold, and then I went to do uh, mine out the diamonds with the gold. Well, naturally, it doesn't come out. So I'm like, well, this game's broke. Well, I was like, well, what do I mine out with it? I don't want to lose these diamonds. So I mined out with a wooden pickaxe. I mined out with a stone. Finally, I came to an iron. I'm like, oh, really? All right. So two diamonds. Um, I just want to show you guys. Check this out. Same way with a diamond. Okay. You mine that sucker out. These were at the time completely useless with most things. Unless you were really, really smart with redstone. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny. I, uh. I made these little contraptions thinking I was all cool. Um, but, yep. Yeah. It's the name of the game. After this, you know, you'd collect quite a few diamonds. Um, and look at this. This isn't even all that. Isn't even all that fast with these. No enchantments to make it even faster. Um, so you'd mine out, you just strip mine, and you just start mining out a bunch of diamonds, and then you realize, and this is where I stopped playing, I realize, what's the point? What's the point of playing this game? And that's when my focus shifted to building, and I started to really uh, get into the building process and um, really want to build. And, uh, you know, after that, I, uh, even with that, I, I started to say to myself, well, you know, what's the point in building, um, if there's no one to share it with? So, you know, I'd play on some servers, and then finally I was like, no, I don't, I don't, this isn't helping me, and so I started doing Let's Plays, and that's my story, <laughs> but anyways, guys, I wanted to do sort of a let's play of just the old school way of, of playing this game and um, you know it's it's been a long ride and uh, I can't wait to see what the next hundred episodes holds for me but uh, in the spirit of the old Minecraft let's uh, let's play a little uh, roulette here let me get some torches going uh, Give me a second. I'll get some of these. I call this Minecraft Roulette. You pick a place that's near lava. And uh, you just dig down and hope to God that you don't find lava. So this was probably the worst case scenario that you could ever have in the game. Is having a diamond tool and diamonds and you're digging down and bedrock awesome 
All right, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe if you already haven't. Uh, obviously, I have a normal series for those of you guys that are new just watching this. Uh, so go definitely check that out. Um, but I wanted to share this with you guys. I wanted to share some stories of my first experiences with Minecraft since it is our 100th episode. And I hope you guys did enjoy hearing those stories. So as the most beautiful music in all of Minecraft comes on, I'm going to give you guys a big send off. And uh, thank you guys for the uh, 100th episode here. And I, I hope that we can see 100 more. Uh, and only you guys can make that possible for me uh, by keeping uh, yourselves watching and supporting and all that stuff. So until next time, guys, happy mining and crafting.